Alright, we're back with our, uh, my shirt matches my dog. Anyways, I've got the Gouda cheese, but, you know, these dogs are not, I mean, you see her all the time. She's not going to be made to do anything. She doesn't want to There's some really bad ones. Proof of that, I can go find some of those videos. Just, Jesus Christ. If their ears were made of paper mache, let's just say they'd be all crumbled. <laughs> God, they'd have broken off by now. <laughs> yeah, I, you know, that's what I tell Mike. I say, they're rubbing this thing's head like a genie's gonna come out. Huh. Or I said, I've seen people rub genie lamps less than this thing. <laughs> and then not realize that's what that fern dog training was. There was only one video that I could find with the dog, and this guy's doing a stay. Yeah. And they don't realize that their training is getting worse by the end. You know, <laughs> they're just doing all these corrections. But, you know, you don't want to do anything to shut down momentum. If you that say that's who you are, I, I think you're eroding away at the relationship. It may take time, but they're eroding, eroding, eroding. So with this dog, we've got to be very delicate and deliberate about the leash. And she is completely off leash trained. Um, you know, but in a way, I kind of starting to think of it, Crystal, like, yeah, there are few people that can ride a horse without a bridle. You've seen it done. Sure. There was that one rescue yeah. horse that woman trained in a week, and she could ride it without a bridle. Oh, oh and it had no previous training. Don't ask me how they knew that. Just based on what they knew. Not based on the fact that it could suddenly a week later be, you know, rideless. <laughs> that wasn't indicative of any previous training. So I've got my Gouda cheese. You know, people that want to go at dogs without food, yeah, if they like to fetch, you got the upper hand. But you can't count on that with companion dogs, nor should you, because you end up wasting people's time. Uh, because what happens is it ends up being like a Remy where they got everybody and their brother throwing the ball trying to wear this dog out. And it's not happening. Alright, so what I want to say, you know, and I don't think this dog does not have a good all through. I, I don't think she's got the best all through. And you can see that. All through. So you definitely need to develop more of the, and that doesn't mean anything. You know, and I was talking to that guy, Fernando, about precursors, and he didn't know what precursors were. We've got to tell people about these things. Because he, he was, before he was slightly out of sync with the dog, he was a little bit slower, maybe. And then he made another video. He probably hates me for my un unsolicited advice, but I mean, I think they have potential to get better if they just do minor things. That's what kills me. And so now he's a slightly faster than the dog. So I said, you've got to have precursors. You don't just go and then turn real fast without, you know, and then the dog sees that and then catches up. I mean, you've got to have precursors, you know. You know, it would be like if I said, if we're walking along, you know, when we're going to, when it's time to turn, I won't say anything, but I'll go, you know. And I talk about that all the time. There was a guy named Randy Rhodes. We need to look him up. He won the National. I want to say it was, maybe it was the, it might have been the DVG National. But he got points off because the judge said that every time he got ready to turn, he exhaled as a cue to the dog. So he was using his precursor. And that's what they don't want with Schutz and dogs because they do want it to be just verbal. All the while. I actually blamed you for starting it, but I see it wasn't <laughs> you. All right, hang on. So what I want to be able to do, and I'm in completely neutral. She's looking at me, though. But, you know, any move I had would be away from the dog, not towards the dog. So now she's already kind of sidling up. She doesn't like any bugs on her butt, I'll tell you that much. Look at her. So my job is to get her in motion. Scott, heel. Yay. And she's got a very deliberate way of setting herself down. She's got a lot of lift. 
Heel. Heel. She just floats. And she, you know, if you said heel, what it, yay! You know, where is she operating from? But there, right there, Dan. Precious angel. If you drew a line from there to there, that's where the dog's operating. I think that's where people go wrong. They don't even think in those terms, so they can't really operate it properly. You know, they've got their hands out. They're trying to make too many hand gestures. I'm sure to do it too. You know, but the reason she's watching me is because there's going to be precursor. If there's no precursor, there's really no benefit to watching. Eh, you're just going to hear something, but... Yay. Let's go. Here. Yay. Heel. Right in my face, too. She doesn't need the on-go bongo, though. You know, but then the dog is very... She's very neutral right there. I think she had a reset. So I'm just doing my pager right there. She's giving her lift. All right, so I'm working on dog and training. She didn't know that we didn't do this before. Oh, and I just spontaneously made that up on a video because I said, oh, what command can I use? Remember, we said that sign that said dog and training. So I looked, I go, oh, dog and training. Dog and training. <laughs> you know, and what, what I don't want to do is start looking and pointing and over gesture. Because I'm going to tell you why. Because what dog and training is is me saying what I'm doing. Not telling her to dog in training. You know, if you said, what's the objective? Okay. Uh, to send the dog away. You know, to have it move away from you. Because, again, all dog training is, is one of three things. Move away, move towards. You know, if uh, ideally, you know, if I could move the dog away, I could get it up there from here. Or get it come to me. Dog in training. Yay. <laughs> oh, she's such a quick study. You know, that's what you're thinking of all through. You know, when, like, I don't know, that one guy has the solution for the 30 most common behavior problems. Well, God, what are those? I, better, <laughs> I mean, if this guy's got the solution, I surely she must is. have all of these problems. <laughs> all these dogs. Yay. You know, now I wonder, I don't, I don't know if we did the hand thing. This dog is very eye-oriented, though. Dog in training. Yay! I crippled myself by having that little puff on there. I don't do a lot of return to stationary, but... Scarlet, deal. until she got onto that second part. Oh, my precious scar. Oh, Daddy and Mommy will have to bring a whole cooler full of cheese to pay back Aunt Kelly. Oh, you should have seen me. I'll get the surveillance footage from the Walmart <laughs> cheese department yesterday. Oh, Krista couldn't understand what was taking me so long, and I said I'm still in the cheese department. Getting one of 